Hi, I'm Jesse Keith from SunGrow Horticulture. Tomatoes are America's number one garden vegetable, and growing your own from seed has its advantages. It allows you to grow the newest, coolest seed catalog varieties of your choice and helps ensure stock is disease-free at planting time. Just a few basics you need to know about growing tomatoes before you start. Generally, tomatoes take between 60 and 85 days after planting to produce their first harvest. Plant them outdoors after the last spring frost date. These plants can't take cold. They prefer soil that's fertile, well-drained, and has a pH between 6 and 7. They also like regular, even moisture, especially during the heat of summer. They fruit best when both days and nights are warm. And they also fruit and grow best when you use a fertilizer that's formulated for tomatoes. Choose tomatoes with good flavor and disease resistance that say high performing or high yielding in the description. If you have a small garden space or grow tomatoes in containers, pick a determinate or bush tomato. Vining or indeterminate tomatoes require caging and more space. Five of my favorite foolproof tomatoes include Kellogg's Breakfast, a big tasty orange slicer, Sun Gold, a non-stop orange cherry tomato with the best flavor. Mortgage Lifter, a non-stop red slicer with high yields. San Marzano Ridorta, a non-stop vining sauce tomato. And Sunrise Bumblebee, a gold and red striped cherry that's delicious. Start tomato seeds indoors along a sunny windowsill or under broad spectrum grow lights. It takes around six to eight weeks to grow tomatoes from seed to ready to plant starts. You need several materials to start seeds indoors. This includes seeds, labels in a waterproof pen, seedling cells and flats, black gold seedling mix, a spray bottle with water, a good light source, a heat mat, though this is optional, and water soluble fertilizer. Fill cell packs with moistened seedling mix, then place two seeds per cell on the soil surface and sprinkle with a light cover of mix. Label packs with a tomato variety and date. Gently spray packs with water and place the trays four inches below the grow lights or along a sunny windowsill. Keep the mix moist and seedlings should sprout within two weeks. Placing flats on heat mats will speed up germination. You'll want just one tomato per cell pack, so pinch off the least vigorous seedling if two sprout. Always keep sprouts lightly moist. Tomato seedlings need high light, so keep them inches from grow lights. As they grow, lift the lights to give the plant space. Once they produce a couple of sets of leaves, begin to fertilize them lightly. When tomato plants reach at least 8 inches or more, they're ready to harden off for outdoor planting. Tomatoes can only be planted outside when the threat of frost has passed. Seedlings grown indoors need to be toughened up or hardened off to endure the wind, sunlight, and temperatures of the outdoors. To do this, place them in a protected spot outside and slowly acclimate them to the new environment over the course of a week then they'll be ready to plant. It's important to know your last frost date. Mine is in mid-spring, so I can plant my tomatoes by mid to late April and expect my early bush tomatoes to start producing by early July. Before planting your tomatoes, amend garden soil with black gold garden compost blend and apply a continuous release fertilizer formulated for tomatoes. Tomatoes root along the stem, so you can remove two sets of lower leaves and plant them just a few inches deeper to help them become better established, but this isn't necessary. Bush tomatoes often require staking, but large vining tomatoes need strong cages. A good cage or staking system will keep the garden tidy and harvest easier. Tie tomato vines as they grow to encourage stability. 
Tomato vines can easily become too wild and overgrown. Don't be afraid to prune off branches that are too wild or dense. This will also maintain good airflow, which will discourage disease. Tomato harvests really start to pick up when the days and nights are warm, usually by late July. Pick tomatoes as they ripen and be sure to remove rotting tomatoes from the vine and the ground to keep away pests and disease. Happy tomato growing!